Okay, so if you've got a lot of questions that haven't already been answered about this, then here's the place. I've been digging up questions about this that you've all been asking on reviews, on forums. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've watched a lot of reviews of this and I've heard some pretty good questions, some pretty dumb questions. Uh, turns out a lot of people have been saying a lot of things about this. Some are really wrong. In terms of weight, it is quite weighty, but it needs to be to stick to something and not slide it down. The thing is, it really wants to sit at about that angle. Any further than that, and it does start to slide down the screen. It's got a sticky-ish pad on the bottom, but it gets crap on the pad quite easily. So after a little while, you just have to keep cleaning it with a damp cloth, basically. But it feels nice to hold. And even though it's quite angular, the edge of it is slightly beveled. So yeah, feels soft. The bottom picks off so you can put batteries in there. You can use it with rechargeable batteries, etc, etc, etc. But here are some answers to the questions you've been asking. Firstly, does it work with Photoshop? Microsoft do not, the Surface team should I say, do not actually make the software themselves to interface the dial with Photoshop or with any piece of software. It comes down to the fact that Adobe have to make the software themselves, make the actual behind the scenes workings with the dial. The reason software like Sketchable works really well with the dial from day one is because the Sketchable team had the dial beforehand and you know they were able to interface Sketchable with the dial. Adobe needs to work with the dial and make it work. You know, Adobe had the Mac touch bar early on, so they were able to make that work. I do hear rumors that Adobe are now working with the dial, but for right now, basic functionality works. So you can pan, zoom, you can add in hotkeys. For example, um, you know, shortcuts are there, basically. Now, next question I've got is, does it actually work with Premiere? In the same way that it works with Photoshop for now, it works with Premiere. In other words, the most important thing that I think people have been asking is basically about the timeline. You can scrub the timeline, at least. For me, that's good enough. I think the dial, twisting back and forth, using the timeline, that's all I really want it for. I have the Wacom remote, and I can use that for a lot of functionality. With a dial as well, good enough. Really good enough. Especially on the Surface Book that I'm using it for. I don't have a Surface Studio at home, but I have a Surface Book, and for me, if I'm doing any editing in Premiere on my Surface Book, yeah, I can use the dial. That's perfect. The rest of it, I can touch screen. What is the dial actually capable of? It has a dial. And you can click it. That's it. It's dial. You can add in shortcuts. And it's a dial. It's not anything more than that. It's real simple functionality, and that's the way it's supposed to be treated. How to set it up. Okay, setting it up is really easy. It's Bluetooth, it finds itself. You just have to tell it to pair. That's it. It's that simple. Once you tell it to pair, you can then go into a setting for the surface dial, and then say, here are some, you know, here are some shortcuts for it that I quite like. Um, I haven't done that, but it already sets three basic functionalities for it. It's Bluetooth, it finds itself, you just have to pair it. There's a button on the bottom of the device, 
which is used for pairing. So yeah, nice and easy. You press down on the dial to pull up the dial's menu and you push down and twist to change the dial's settings depending on which piece of software you're using at the time. It can come up with you know many different things if that software allows it. If it doesn't then it just uses the basic you know kind of dial functionality which is kind of cool like I say in Photoshop and so on it's pan, zoom, etc, etc. But yeah, to be honest, fairly cool, good enough. Does it work with a Mac? No! Does not. It's that simple. It does not work with a Mac. Could it work with a Mac? I... I don't really think it could. It's a Bluetooth device. So maybe if somebody writes a piece of software for it, it could. But, hmm, I'm not entirely sure if somebody can. Maybe, maybe Microsoft have written a piece of software which stops this, or I doubt it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe someone could hack it to work for a Mac. I'd like to see if somebody could, but uh, I don't know. Dell have already made, um, you know, their kind of copy of it. So. Yeah, maybe somebody else will just make a dial that works with Mac. Or maybe Apple will end up making their own dial. Who knows? Does it work with a Centiq? Doesn't work on any screen apart from the screen of the Surface Studio. Why? Can't tell you. It's probably some technology within the screen of the Surface Studio. Does it stick to a screen? No. It's just a rubber pad that grips to a screen. So it'll grip to the screen of any other screen at an angle, but it's not magnetic as I've heard some people say it is. Uh, you know, I've looked inside one of these things. It's just a rubber pad. There's no magnetic, you know, discs in there. <laughs> it's crazy as that sounds. Um, you know, it falls off at an angle. That if you had magnetic pads in the screen or in the disc, in the, if you had magnetic pads in the dial, it would send your screen crazy. It would help break the screen after a while, I'm sure. You couldn't do that. Maybe you could, but yeah, I don't think you can. So it doesn't work with any other screen apart from the Surface Studio. I wish that it did work with the Surface Book or the Surface Pro, but yeah, it doesn't, at least for now. Maybe the next generation I'm sure will work with the Surface Dial, but for right now, no. How big is it exactly? Let's get a tape measure. Surface Dial, tape measure, 20 year old Chinese tape measure. I mean, you can go online and look at these specs anyway, but it is just under six centimeters or you know just over two inches and deep it is just over an inch the silver bit comes to an inch but it you know sticks out and that is you know three centimeters some people said it was smaller than they thought some people said it was bigger than they thought it's the same diameter as my camera lens. Oh, I just can't fit it in my mouth. No surprise. So yeah. yeah. But it's about the bottom of a cup normal cup. Rich tea biscuit. I, I don't know what else to compare it to, really. It is exactly the same price as the Wacom Remote. They are both $99. So really, bang 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 bang, you could say it's in direct competition. However, this kind of has a dial too, 
with free settings. So yeah, I mean, yeah, you could say they're both direct competition, or you could say that they both work brilliantly together. This is a USB device, this is a Bluetooth device. I have to say, while you can use them both at once, they pretty much make good buddies. I've used them both at the same time on my Surface Book and yeah, they work really well together. You know, one thing you miss about having this is uh, one thing you miss while having this is the ability to just hit Alt, Control, Command, etc. Um, the Windows key. Uh, yeah, depending on what program you use, that can really irk you. But while you have this, that that just isn't as great as just having the dial. So, they work really well together. You know, and while that's double the price then, if you already have that, then that is brilliant. Um, if you're a professional artist, then the price outlay, you know, it's worth it. So, given the fact that I already have that, I wanted to get that and give it a go. It's worth it for me. So, yeah. It's an even or maybe for you. I like them both. And they're both the same price. Now, should this have been rechargeable? Well, the Wacom remote's rechargeable. At first people said, yeah, the Surface Pen should be rechargeable. To be honest, I haven't heard anybody in a long time say about the Surface Pen being rechargeable. People don't seem to be bothered. The battery life on it, pretty good. And I assume the battery life on the Surface Dial is going to be pretty good as well. So, yeah. I don't think people are going to be that bothered about it, actually. Let's just wait and see. I'd rather put batteries in a device now and again than keep charging it. Realistically, if they can make battery life good, I don't mind putting rechargeable batteries or even disposable batteries in a device every now and again. One thing I did like about this is the fact that it actually came with Duracells, you know, rather than a cheap tester battery. So, yeah, just wait and see how the battery life goes on this. Okay, so hopefully I've answered a few questions there for you that maybe you didn't get answers for somewhere else. Obviously, like I say, watch my other Surface videos and make sure to comment if you have any more questions below. Or, if people have questions, make sure to try and help them out. This is a community after all. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw. And if you really did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website, lawrenceman.co.uk. I'll see you next time.